A crossover second toe is a common forefoot condition, and the primary pathology we found is a plantar plate tear. Now, shortening osteotomy may be indicated for a vast majority of these lesser toe instability patterns. But a long metatarsal, while it's often the underlying cause of these tears, there may be times when it's not necessary to do an osteotomy. I can think specifically of, for example, where a prior osteotomy has been performed and you're doing reduce or revision surgery, or in a metatarsal that's really not overly long, or say in the third or fourth metatarsal, which often do not need to be osteotomized. So we have developed a technique called the CPR Viper technique, which treats plantar plate pathology, and one can expose the joint with or without the need for a shortening osteotomy. A dorsal incision is centered over the second metatarsal phalangeal joint. After exposing the soft tissue, the toe is plantar flexed and a McGlamry elevator is recommended to aid in the proximal mobilization of the plantar plate. An Arthrex small joint distraction is used to expand the joint. We use either a 1.1 or 1.6 millimeter K wire to secure the device and then we open the distractor exposing the plantar plate. We release the medial and lateral collateral ligaments off of the base of the proximal phalanx. We recommend that you release the plantar plate from the base of the proximal phalanx with sharp dissection with care taken to protect the flexor tendons. It's important to release the plantar plate as close as possible to its insertion into the proximal phalanx. The use of a rasp or a rongeur may be used to roughen the surface where the plantar plate has been released. The use of a preloaded viper enables us to pass a suture in the lateral plantar plate. You can reload the viper with O fiber wire and pass a second cinch type stitch in the medial plantar plate. Pass this suture as deep as possible in the plantar plate, proximal word, in order to really gain control of the plantar plate and place the suture in stout tissue. If you're too close to the bleeding edge of the plantar plate, you may not have secure tissue or a secure suture. You can also pass additional sutures with the viper in the medial and lateral collateral ligaments if desired. Sometimes the Viper is used to place one or two horizontal mattress sutures if the surgeon so desires this. The distractor and K-wires are removed from the metatarsal and phalanx. We then use a small 90-degree towel clip around the phalanx to maximally plantar flex the phalanx when drilling the cross 1.6 millimeter drill tunnels in the phalanx. It is critical to see the K-wire exit on the plantar surface. Then using the Arthrex peak tube and suture passers to pass the sutures from plantar to dorsal, we actually pass those sutures through the tunnels in the proximal phalanx. Then, when securing the plantar plate to the proximal phalanx, the toe should be plantar flexed and held in about 10 or 15 degrees of plantar flexion with the articular surface of the proximal phalanx touching the articular surface of the metatarsal head. As the sutures are tied, we usually try to place four to five to six surgeon knots with the old fiber wire. The collateral ligament reefing is carried out on the deficient side can easily be used to improve transverse plane deformity.